the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. United States, supplies were carried by freighters, great lumbering wagons drawn by horses or oxen. They formed the lifeline of the frontier, but many communities might have been cut off by outlaws and hostile Indians if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was his strength and courage that made the trail safe, brought law and order to the new territory, and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! To the west! I was waiting on the trail ahead! Chad Rankin had a growing freight business west of El Paso in the Texas Panhandle. In spite of Indians, flood, and trouble, he was carting freight from El Paso out to the settlers and ranchers. It had been a long, hard pull, but his work was beginning to bear dividends. As he started his rig toward El Paso, Shad yelled happily to his young wife. Adios, honey. I'll be back hooking the cattle to the soul digs. Be careful, Shad. You had plenty of trouble your last trip. <laughs> Don't you fret about no trouble, honey. I take trouble where I find it. Get along, you ponies. <laughs> yes, to me, Bob. Trouble ain't troubling me. Kick along, you horses. We're heading for El Paso. <laughs> but Rankin's wife was right. Trouble was waiting for Shad Rankin. Trouble coming closer all the time. Two horsemen raced their lathered mounts across the dry plains and reined up in a shallow arroyo. This is it, so tell off your horse. Put them reins over the cactus so the horses won't take a notion of straggle. Gotcha. Hand me my saddle right to land the boot. Take yours, too. Load up? Yes, to put the bullets in. Now, up this way. And this way you figure to dry out Shad Rankin's? Right, handy spot. Cast your eyes along that arroyo of blowers. Huh? Don't you see your local coyote? Wagon tracks. Wagon tracks all along the bottom there. Oh, yeah. This here's the route Rankin takes to El Paso, huh? He ain't getting to El Paso. I figure this here freighting business is too good a thing for a jet like Rankin. Well, yeah, folks cotton to Shad Rankin. He's one hombre who's on the level. Sure. He don't charge more than a fair price for bringing fence and furniture and supplies out from El Paso. Now, if it was me doing the freighting... Yeah, he'd skin him for plenty. Sure would. And I aim to. Huh? So I tell you, I aim to take over the freighting business in this country and charge all the traffic can bear. I aim to get rich, savvy. I aim to squeeze the ranchers and settlers for all I can grab. And for that, the first thing I aim to do is get rid of Shad Rankin. Bulger, hey. there's dust rising off to the west. Where? Let me get a squint. Yeah, that's him. Rankin? No, no, they coming like a tornado. Oh, nice rig he's got. Draw your bead. He's on his way. Keep your mouth closed, Savvy. But he's into the arroyo. Full trigger when I do. Now wait. Here we go, Hawkins. Yee-hoo! Back to the arroyo. Get up there. Steady. Come on there. Get to me, Bob. We're heading 
got it, Bulger. <laughs> Mystery Soto. And right there, right again, the Royal Slope. Yeah, I reckon we'd better amble down there, make certain he's done for you. Yeah, we didn't miss. He ain't moving, that's a fact. We'll just see if he needs another bullet. Don't harm none to cover your bets, Sartell. Now, we'll just take Bulger. a look. Huh? Look yonder. That cloud of dust across the prairie. Somebody must have heard them shots. Two for a way to tell who they are. Can you spot how many? I can't see nothing but dust. But it's coming this way. <laughs> yeah. It's high tailing for fair. Come on, Sartell. We'll leave it pronto. Get him, Moose Horse. Get Come on, Silver. That way, Kimasabi. Look, Kato. Horse is hitched to a wagon. Uh. What the? Hold up. Stop. <coughs> I'm hurt. Help me roll them over, Kimasabi. Uh, Tyler, those shots we heard. This man's been dry out. Hold those horses. I'll put them in the... Uh, there we are. All right, Tyler. I'll take the reins. I'm wagon, huh? Spring scout. Silver will trail along. If we hadn't been so far away, we might have gotten here in time to learn who fired those shots. But now, stand clear, Tyler. I've got to turn this wagon. It's a narrow trail. Get... Come around, boys. Come around. Come on, Tutter. Now, where are we going? Get back backtrack on the wagon trail and hurry. Well, why are we hurry? Tutter dead? No, Tutter, he isn't dead. But it was... Get up there! Come on, Scout! Come along, Silver! Faster, boys! Faster! There isn't time for talk. Yes, man, in an engine. You stole my husband's wagon. I'll have the law on you. Listen to me. Where's the nearest doctor? There's a doctor in town. You you don't look hurt, neither of you. Oh, which, how far town? That way, engine, but looky here. Hey, go ahead, tell a ride. Bring the doctor as fast as you can. I'm bring doctor. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. You have some hot water inside, some clean linen? I reckon so. Look here, Mass Man, what's going on? How come you to get my husband's team and wagon? He was on his way to El Paso to pick up some freight. Tyler and I found your husband on the trail in a dry arroyo. He was dry ghost. Shed, no. Well, this is no time for tears. If you want your husband to be alive when the doctor gets here, you'll have to pitch in. I want hot water, plenty of it. Yeah, yeah, mister, we we got to save him. <laughs> It sure was a good thing for your husband. That engine brung me, Miss Rankin. Doctor, you, you mean Shed's going to pull through? Yep. He won't be awful spry for a spell, but he's going to live. You done a nice piece of nursing, Mum. Well, I just did what the masked man told me, Doctor. Whoever told you was a right smart hombre. Hmm. Shad will be opening his eyes pretty soon. Uh. Where can I go out and tell the boys he's going to be all right? Doctor, you... You'll make my apologies to them and tell them I'm grateful they come riding out from town, only only right now I... Sure. You want to be with your husband. Sure. Shad. Oh, Shad. That's oh, you, honey. Oh, you're going to be all right. Doctor said so. I was dry ghost, honey. I didn't see the honor of skunks have done it. You mustn't get up, Shad. Doctor said you mustn't. Oh. Oh, I reckon I couldn't if I wanted to. We couldn't have kidded. Mrs. Rankin, can I come in, ma'am? Reckon so. Miss Bulger. Howdy, Bulger. Howdy, Reckon. Uh, you and me ain't exactly pards, but I come to offer sympathy to you. Oh, well, thanks. Who was it draggled you? Shad didn't see him. Uh, well, that's too bad. Yeah. Um, what do you aim to do now, huh? Why, what do you mean? Hey, your husband's freight business. You can't do no business flooding your back, Reagan. Oh, I'll be up and around. The doctor says no. Reckon your business is plumb shot to pieces. Uh, after all, if a fellow contracts to haul freight from El Paso out to here and he can't deliver, it, well, I'm plumb sorry for you, like I said. Shed? Shed, I, I never thought about that. There's been so much happening, but but he's right. Bulger's right. You can't run the business. 
Jed, we're plum ruined. Hey, Bolger. Bolger, come around here. Hey, what's the trouble? Come on outside. Come on. What's going on? We look like wolves, so I tell you. Sure, I'm grinning. Look there. Hey. It's like some sort of ruckus. It's the crowd from town. They come out when word got around. Rankin was shot. They don't know what it says. <laughs> it ain't us. Can't you see who they're looking at? Well, I'll be the uh, masked man. Yeah, a masked man and an engine. I've been spreading a little poison around. Yeah. I've been saying it must have been the masked man and the engine who dry gulls Rankin. What? But them two is the ones sure, you saw? Oh, sure. The masked gent and the engine was the ones who brought Rankin back. And the engine brung the doctor. But this here crowd's excited. They ain't doing much thinking. Yeah, I'm beginning to savvy. He's masked, Bulger. Must be an outlaw. <laughs> Leave it to me, sir, Till. We'll rile up the boys a plenty. Sure, they cover up for us, won't it, if the masked gent gets the blame, huh? We don't want no outlaws around here. You better make tracks, mister. And we bring doctor. What are you just waiting for? I say draw your guns and pour two of them. Yeah, outlaws. You men are forgetting one thing. Tano and I brought Rankin back. We found him and... Yeah. Mister, I'm here to say it was you and the engine who dragged those Rankins. Use your heads. Would we shoot him and then bring him home? I reckon you got some scheme up your sleeve. We don't want outlaws. We had to lynch him. Lynch him both. Get ready. Huh? We go. No, you don't climb off that horse, mass man. Yeah, and the same goes for the engine. I'm warning every man here. Don't try to stop us. The first one that draws a gun. I'm calling you, Mister. Slap leather. What in thunder? Oh, nobody shoot. The next attempt to draw a gun will get the same. My head. We'll get you, mister. That lost can't get away from Come nobody. on, get him up, Skulls. There they go. Send lead after him. Where's my shooting? Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Stop them shots. That outlaw is getting away, Mr. Ransom. Stop it. Stop it. That is real quick, Jess. Give me the engine is out of range anyways. Tell you what. We'll get our horses and go after him anyway. All right. You can't. They brought my husband back. They helped me. Maybe so, ma'am. We figured they had some reason... If they didn't drag those shed, then who did? Well, I don't know. There you are. They must have done it. Come on, Jess, get your horses. We'll trail that masked man till we get him. Horses oh, still on trail. Bolter and Sawtell led them on, Tadder. You think maybe them should rank him? Somebody did. Huh? I think Bolter and Sawtell were fair watching. Right now, we've let that posse far enough. Give Scout more rain. We go faster. Let's get rid of them. Come on, get Silver. Get out, Scout. Hi, old Silver. Hooray. Oh, oh, oh. What are we stopping for? Come on. Ain't no use, Bolger. They were just fooling with us. They got horses can run circles around there. We'll never catch them. I'm heading for home. Come on, boy. Oh, on, Lick. Come on, we don't need you. I tell her it was something pretty. We ain't going after them, too? For what? We give them enough of a scare so they won't come back, and that's all we need. Rankin is wounded bad enough so he can't handle this freight job. It's going to fall right into our laps. If Rankin can't do it, there ain't nobody going to do it for him. <laughs> can't deliver the freight you're supposed to, then, then you're licked. Somebody's got to do it. Oh, now, honey, I'll tell you no. And I say yes. Who else is there? But, but you're a woman. I can ride. I can handle a team of horses. I know my way to El Paso and back just as good as you do, almost. Oh, I wish I was able to move. You ain't able to move. Chad Rankin, I'm your wife. I married you for better or for worse. When things go bad, it's the wife's duty to help out her husband. Chad, there ain't no two ways about it. I'm driving the wagon to El Paso myself. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. When Shad Rankin was dry gulched on the trails of El Paso, his wife determined to carry on his business. She refused to listen to her husband's objections and made ready for the trip. All this to go, Shad. I don't think you had a rifle, honey. I got the new shops for Peter and plenty of bullets. You want to watch Buck. The other horse is easy to handle, but Buck's kind of ornery. No, Shad, I've held rain on Buck plenty of times. Huh? I reckon I'm all set. Yeah. You'll be all right, won't you, Shad? Doctor ought to be here right soon. Oh, I'll be all right. You got a bad wound. You got to stay in bed. Oh, I'll be all right. It's you I'm worried about. I'll be as right as rain. It's a long trip to El Paso. I'll get there, and I'll bring the freight back. Oh, I shouldn't let you. Shad, we talked this out once already. Freighting is a man's business, not a woman's. I'm your wife. A wife's got to help. Oh, but there's thousands of things can happen to you. You might get lost. <laughs> Never. There's engines. The engines ain't been around for a couple of years. They might come down out of the hills. A raiding party. Shed, they... you know it ain't so. Well, even if there ain't nothing else, honey, I was dry gulch. Supposing you was to run into them same sneaking hombres. They wouldn't shoot a woman. Now, they ain't no use arguing. Your mind's set. Somebody's got her. And I'm your wife. Honey, honey, you're the finest woman in the world. I aim to be. For you, Shed. Well, the wagon's outside. Give me a farewell kiss and... Be careful. Goodbye. Be careful. When the doctor comes, just do like he says, Jed. Do like he says. There. I think nothing can happen. Uh, all I'm doing is just... Just going to El Paso. Just going to El Paso. Woman driving a freight freight to El Paso. Hey, hey, George. Hey? Bring up, but she'll try to rush. Howdy, Bodger. Sawtell. How's Shad Rankin, Doc? Just come there. Shad's doing all right. But I never heard anything so downright foolish in my life. Uh, that young woman riding to El Paso in Shad's place. What? What are you talking about? Shad Rankin's wife, that's what. She left Shad in care of the Chinese cook. And she's lit out for El Paso herself. She's going to keep Shad's freight line running. Freight jumping mavericks, a woman? Got plenty of gumption doing it for her husband. When does she aim to go? When? Ain't I told you? She's gone already. Left a couple of hours ago. Adios. I got to tell the men in town all about it. Sure wish her easy, easy driving. Adios. So I tell you hear that? Yeah. If she brings that freight back from El Paso, we're wasting our time. We got to stop her. You can't cry, don't you, woman? Never mind what we can or can't do. We're after that freight business, ain't we? Yeah, but can't No we... buts. We stop Rankin, and by granny, we're stopping his wife. We're hitting the trail. You mean we... I mean we're going after her. Get up there. Get up there. Get up. I tell you, it's true, as I'm standing here. I just come from Rankin's ranch. It's a fact. Uh, dog, dog. Sure got to give her credit. Credit where credit's due. You figure she'll be all right? Yeah, sure. Don't know why not. But Shad run into bullets. Sure, but there ain't no hombre would shoot a woman. Besides, we'd run the masked man and the redskin out of here, didn't we? That's where you're wrong. What? The masked man? It's him. Keep your hands high. Don't move. Uh, what are you doing here? You were at Rankin's ranch, doctor. Where's his wife? Well, we, I... We, uh, we ain't saying. Well, what's the matter with you? Rankin wouldn't tell me either. Sure not. Because you're masked. You're an outlaw. There's no time to argue that. Rankin is ill, wounded. He can't be expected to think clearly, but you men can. I want to know where Rankin's wife has gone. Mister, you can pull trigger till you run out of bullets, but the answer is no. Is she here in town? Doctor, you have brains. We don't trust you, mister. I see. What about Bulger and Sawtell? Huh? What about them? Do you trust them? Well, I don't know why not. I'll tell you why not. I think they're the ones who shot Rankin. Oh, oh no. You're plumb loco. I reckon this proves you're nobody to tell things to. Then where are they? I don't see them here. Uh, for a fact, they ain't here. But that don't mean nothing. I hope not. Huh? Why do you say it that way, mister? What, what in places? Stand where you are. Toto. Uh, me, me find you, Kimasato. Redskin. Now the two of them are together. You tell me watch Bulger and Sartell. He trailed them. Then meet doctor on road. Yeah, I was coming back from Rankin's. Then they I... talk with doctor. Then them go fast, that way. To El Paso. That's right. Did you hear them, Tullif? Them come past me close. Me hear Bulger say, him stop freight wagon. What? What's that? That what? means something to you? Why, it sure does. 
Mister, you can hold for that shooting iron. Doc, I reckon you better tell the masked man what he's hankering to know. Masked man, you asked about Miss Rankin. Well, she's hit the trail for El Paso. She aiming to get her husband's freight business moving. Woman leave for El Paso. Not bad. We should have told you that before, masked man. We was plumb off in the facts, mistrusting you. Bulger and Softail must be the coyotes to dry gulch shad. Ain't no two ways about it. Never mind that. There's been enough talk. Follow me. I'm riding with you. No, you're a doctor. You stay here and look after your patients. The rest of you get your horses. Oh, here's the count. Oh, here's the We're right with you, mister. Come on, you gents. Follow me. Bulger and Softail are far out on the trail. We've got to get them before the ambush Rankin's way. Come on, you guys. I'm Silver Hawaii. Light fell across the plains, the moon casting shadows from the giant cactus and mesquite dotted the trail to El Paso. East from Hermanos and the Sioux Pack rolled the rhythm of pounding hoofs. Chad Rankin's wife, heading east for El Paso, handing her husband's wagon. Come on there, horses. Nothing to shy at. Just shadows on the cactus. We'll get to El Paso come sunrise. We'll take care of that place for shade. They'll clear in the moonlight. Yes, you horses. Riders in the night, Chad Rankin's wife, heading east. And not far behind, Bulger and Sautel loosened their rifles and their saddle boots, grinning in the pale moonlight. <laughs> you ought to catch up with her pretty soon, Sautel. Nice clear moon, Bulger. Yeah, good moon for shooting. She's got a leg in the pool. We'll make a better time. We'll cut ahead and be waiting. It's going to be a bobtail cinch. Get up there. Get up, boss. Get up there. Riders in the night. Rankin's wife on the trail to El Paso. Bulger and Sautel coming up behind. Ready to drag out the woman as they drag out her husband. And in the distance, miles away from the bad men, the posse led by Silver and Scout. Come on, Silver Come on, Scout! Get up there, boy! Get up! Mask man! Mask man! Engine! Come on, Cole! What is it? Slow up a bit, mister! Slow up! Well? We can't keep up with you, mister. You're wearing our ponies till frazzled. That white horse of yours, the paint, the engine's frazzled. You're too fast for us. Davidson, you know the trail to El Paso? Sure, mister. It's easy to follow in the moonlight. Then keep on the trail. Tell her now, right ahead. Huh? There's no time to lose. Mrs. Rankin is far ahead. Bulger and Sawtell are sure to get to her first. Unless the posse can make better time. Oh, can't do it, mister. Our ponies are running as fast as they can right now. And that's it, Davidson. Unless Sutter and I go ahead, Mrs. Rankin will have to face those two alone. Follow the trail. We'll go ahead. Oh, we'll get there. Fire that man. We'll do our best. Come on, Sutter. Get him up, Skull. Faster, Silver. Faster, old boy. Get him up, Skull. Catch those legs, Silver. Cover the ground. Hello, Silver. Hawaii. Riders in the night. The great horse, Silver, pounding the shadowed prairie. Flying over the trail to El Paso. And close behind him, Scout fighting to keep up with the great white stallion. The Lone Ranger and Tonto leaving the posse far behind, riding to the rescue. <coughs> the trail to El Paso. Across the plains floated the howl of a coyote, his nose pointed at the moon. Then silence once more. Until out of the west came two horsemen cutting toward the trail. Bulger and Sautel. They had circled the wagon so that Shad Rankin's wife could not see them pass. Now they stopped beside the trail. Yeah, we done it, Sautel. Trail ain't been traveling on. We took us a shortcut that brought us up ahead of the wagon. And cactus plants would give us cover, Bulger. Yeah. The moon's going to drop out of sight pretty soon. It'll be dark. Good and dark. <laughs> down the trail? No, uh, moon's going under. Everything's dark. Lend your ears. Listen. Sounds like a wagon. Coming out of the west. It is a wagon. I can hear it playing. Stay back. Bulger, yeah. we are... Got your rifle? Yeah. Listen, we ain't going to shoot a woman. You're soft-hearted, sir, too. I don't like shooting. All not right, not. all right. Instead of shooting her, we'll aim at the horses. There's four horses to Rankin's rig. If we get rid of the horses, Rankin won't have nothing left to do his freight hauling. That satisfy you? Kino, I'm with you on that. We get the horses. I'll take uh, 
You take the rear lead horse. You drop the wheeler on this side. And we do the same for the off horses, Evie. Yeah. That'll learn Rankin to keep trying. Rankin and his wife both. Here she comes. Get up there. Get up. You already so Fire when I give the word. My finger's on the trigger. Come on closer. Can you see it yet? Not yet. No move. Now I get it. Bulger. Bulger, she ain't alone. What? She's got two riders with her. She ain't alone. What the... So tell us the wet horse. The wet horse in the paint. The masked man in the engine. They're riding guard for us. Shoot, shoot. Bring him down. Oh, there they are. He's there. They spotted us. Shoot. Pull up, stop your waiting, girl. Get them, Tonto. Shoot the guns from the hands. Oh, they got me. You shot my gun to reeds. That's enough, Tonto. Bowser, you and Salsa, lift your hands and keep them high. The posse's on its way. Oh, 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 couldn't keep up with that mask, Jen, though. Did him and the engine catch up with you? They tell you about Bulger and Sawtell being all ready to... Well, shoot me for a loco buffalo. Boys, look. It's Bulger and Sawtell. They're tied up like steers for Brandon. Tied up and set right in the wagon. <laughs> Mrs. Rankin, I reckon that masked fella did get here. He sure did, mister. Him and the engine jumped on these two hombres like a pair of catamounts. Bulger and Sawtell didn't have a chance. And just to make certain, they tied him up and stood watch till we heard the posse. <laughs> I reckon the trail to El Paso is wide open for law-abiding folks from this night on. Oh, Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.